23. The Needed Change This last week, in driving the length of our state, I visited many beautiful farm towns in the valley and in the foothills. The changes were not good to see. One very fine town that 25 years ago rarely had a law enforcement problem and where people left their doors unlocked now has some purse-snatching cases. In another town there was a break-in by a thief while we slept. In still another, the discussion was about a pornographic X-rated movie which was drawing long lines of people in that town every day. Moreover, I find similar problems in small towns and cities all over the country. The big cities are far worse. Will stricter law enforcement help? We need it, and it will help a little, but not for long. How can you eliminate pornography from the theatres when you have it in the hearts of the people? The long lines tell us something about the change in the people as well as the law. Or how can you decrease thefts when all too many people have larceny in their hearts? With all too many people, anything you can get away with is legitimate. A farmer, with whom I've grown up, had his trees cut down when he was away, apparently because he fought against the enforced unionisation of farm workers. When I lecture at schools and colleges, I find very few students or teachers who feel that the farmer was wronged. In fact, they will angrily justify the violence used against him. With people like these, we can expect exactly what we're getting in the way of lawlessness and much more. A change in laws will not change people. What we need is a change of religion, from humanism or worship of man which governs the church, state and school, to Christianity. Not only do we need a change of religion, but a religious change in men, conversion, so that, with a changed people, we can have a changed society. Above all else, the changes must begin with us. Take a good hard look at yourself. The mirror to use is the Bible. It won't flatter you, but it can change you and make you over into a new man. Try it. Your family might like it.